Hi guys, just Janice, and welcome to the Thursday Train. Um, you just seen Dave before me from Dave's DRH Acrylic Creations, and right after me, you're going to see Julie from Art by Julie E. And you guys are stuck in the middle with me. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm playing around with some Christmas presents. This is something that I've done before. And but I've never done it on camera and I thought I'd do it to share it with you guys so that you guys could be inspired a little bit and what it is is it's just a black t-shirt this one's a men's large and I pre-wash them and I dry them and in between the back and the front inside I have full pieces not cut out pieces of the quarter inch foam board and this is so whatever you put on the front isn't going to leak through the back and stick. And what I'm going to do this time is I've already got the foam boards in. I'm going to be using um, some crackle paste. This is the Stamperia, the gold crackle paste. This is one of their stencils. This is the, which one is it? It doesn't say. This is, I think, is the Lunar or something like that. But anyway, I love that these come in with the little hooks already on them because I just hang them up. And I'm going to be putting some crackle paste on. I have another stencil. I, this is one of my favorites. It's the, the splatter one from Tim Holtz and I have one that's just basically stars and I'm not sure if I'll use it but I also have some mica sprays that in gold this is the Lindy's um, Opal Sea Oats and this is Heidi Swap this is um I don't know how old this I think I've had this for probably 12 years and I just love that it's got so much mica and vibrance to it, so I use it a lot. And then I'm going to show you how I kind of seal it. Oh, I bumped the camera. Whee! I'm going to show you how I seal, but once I get the crackle paste on, I dry it. And <laughs> I don't run it through the dryer anymore after that, but I do cold water wash, and because I kind of seal it with the Kamar, it for some reason everything just stays and I run it through the cold water wash hang them up and I mean yeah over a few years everything kind of cracks and breaks and sometimes it peels off but if I don't throw them in the dryer it lasts quite a while so on this one I'm going to I think I'll just you don't want to start too high close up to the neck because then it just Looks like people will try to read and you if you got a beard or anything like that. You can't read it. And that was silly. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to get this organized and get it laid out the way I want it. So let's get started.
Okay, this one's done. Um, what I do is the mica that's at the bottom of these, I take a paintbrush, I scoop some of the mica out, and I splatter it around. I did forget to turn the camera on when I use some of this so that it, there's contrasting colors of gold in the splatters. Um, this is dry. You can see how it's crackled. It's pretty cool because it all kind of cracks and and you can put tug on the shirt and it cracks a little bit more but it all stays on the shirt. And what I do is just like for my inks or the boxes or anything, any paintings I use, mica powders, if I use my magicals or anything like that, I hit it with a little bit of Kamar. And what I do is I hang it on a hanger and I take it outside and I stand like three or four feet away and I just very lightly mist over it, let it dry, and then I'll come back and I'll do it again. And then I'll rub my finger over it to see if the powder or micas are going to come up. And they're in there. And like I said, cold water wash. Don't throw them back in the dryer again. But it's pretty cool. Ollie will get down here, show the crackles. It's fun. It's not real stiff because there's not a lot of it on there. But it's quick and easy way to make Christmas gifts or even just anything. I actually have one that I'm going to be doing probably next week. I've been waiting for the weather to cool down. And it's actually using stamps, the thick foam stamps. And... I take it outside and use another product and really cool and it's going to be like one for Valentine's and one for I'm going to be creating one for that just says artist on it so fun easy quick I mean give it a go I just want to inspire you to try this is the gold crackle paste paste is usually better than paint paint will wash out um, unless you use the paint specifically for clothes, but I find that gets real stiff and breaks. Anyway, so stick around guys. Julie's up next and wherever you are, I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, or night. Bye!